In this video, we're just simply going to go back and do another problem in applications and problem solving. Okay, I've already had one video that looks at it, and so I want to go ahead and do a second one just to kind of drive the nail home. Now, again, the book can give you one way, I'm going to give you one way, and, and you'll make your own way. So let's work with step one. Go find all the sentences that end in a question mark and read those. They define your variables. And so we go and look for our question mark. That's here. And so we want to say, okay, well, what is the speed limit on state highways? Okay, so I'm going to label it S. S is defined as the speed limit on state highways. Okay. Alright, so that's the only question, so we can go ahead and move on to step two. Step two says read the problem and write down all of the numbers you're given. Okay, make sure that you give them names. Alright, so now, in this particular one, we have to be kind of careful because uh, there are going to be some numbers here that aren't just numbers, they're actually a relationship. And so, the speed limit for cars on the interstate in Michigan is 70 miles per hour. Okay, so let's call the interstate speed limit. And that's 70 miles an hour. For those of you who might be viewing this video from outside the United States, uh, interstates are run by the federal government. In Europe, you could kind of, uh, if you could imagine the European Union setting up your own autobahns, and they go from country to country to country to country. Okay, these are high speed, uh, high speed roads, and so in the states are allowed to to uh, to direct their own speed limits but they're run by the federal government. And so uh, different states have different limits. In Michigan, it's 70 miles an hour. And that's a pretty common, pretty common uh, speed limit. OK, back to the question. All right, this is 15 miles. This, OK, now here's problems kind of like to do this to you. This, this needs some kind of a reference. OK, this is a pronoun, and so it refers back to some noun. Okay, in this particular case, the this refers back to the speed limit for cars in the interstate. Okay, that refers back to the 70 miles an hour. Is this, in mathematics terms, is equals. And faster, since you're, since you're moving beyond it, then that's going to give us the mathematics for or the, the English word for plus. Okay, it's just describing addition. Okay, so now, as we look at it, let's go ahead and define 15. So let's define 15 as the difference between interstate and state highway speeds. As you get better at this, you won't have to define them quite as, I guess, nastily, if you want, if, you, if, you, if you'll pardon the, the, the inventive English there. Uh, you won't have to define, define them as explicitly. All right, and so we're going to call this 15 miles an hour. Now, this number is going to come into play much more at the end when we go back and check our, check our work. Okay, part three says, come up with an equation that describes your problem. Use your variable and names that you called your, that you called your values. Okay, so now, S. As we look back, We have S, we have intercept speed limit, and then we have the difference between them. Okay, so now as we look back at this problem, there are keywords in here. 
this was one of them, is is another, and faster is another one. It also, on state highways, kind of tells you what it's going to do. So we define this as 70 miles an hour. And so if we kind of just write that out, this is equals 15 miles per hour faster. Okay, and of course I violated my own laws here, but in this particular case, as you be well aware, I mean this is kind of a general setup. Um, it's a, the second sentence actually sets up the entire problem. And so I'm going to write this down, and then underneath it I'm going to put the words. And so this is the interstate speed limit. Interstate speed limit. This is the difference. And then here in the last one, this is our state highway speed limit. Okay, so now in this particular problem, the style of the question kind of leads you into the answer. And so the second sentence sets up the equation in step four, as a, or uh, in steps three and four. Now four says replace the names in step three with their values from step two. Okay, I did that kind of all in one. And these are the different steps that I take. It's just that sometimes they get cramped together. So be very careful on this and understand that understand your problem. This, the 70 miles an hour, is equals 15 miles an hour faster, 15 plus the state highway. Okay, 70 is 15 miles an hour faster than the state free or state highway speed limit. There we go. And so if we just go ahead and write out the numbers in step four. 70 is equal to 15 plus s. So step five, solve the problem. Okay, now we're fairly new at this, and so let's go ahead and take it very slowly. 70 equals 15 plus s. And since we're adding to our variable, we're adding to our variable, then in order to get rid of the thing next to the variable, we have to subtract it. But when we do, since it's equal, got to give both kids uh, both kids ice cream. Otherwise, they start screaming. And so we have to subtract 15 from both sides. If it makes you understand it better, put an equal sign in between the negative 15s so that negative 15 is equal to negative 15. This is known as the reflexive property of equality. And it really is a mathematical property. So uh, if if it makes you feel better to understand how it's doing it and why you have to do it to both sides, throw that equal sign in there. That's just fine. So 15 minus 15 is 0 plus s equals 70 minus 15 is 55. Okay, so now at this point, 0 plus anything, 0 being the additive identity, and so it doesn't change the value. So we can just kind of drop it. And that just gives us 55 is equal to S. All right, now we were in miles per hour, so I should really say 55 miles per hour is S, the speed, the state highway speed limit. So check to make sure your answer makes sense. Okay, here's the check for this one. If you take a look at the 55 and the 70 in the problem, Okay, the difference between 55 and 70 is 15. We identified that in number two. Difference between interstate and state highway speeds is 15 miles an hour. So that's our check. At least we're consistent with what we wrote down. Hence, another reason why to write the stuff down. Okay, so does it make sense? Yes. Does it make sense in America that your interstates are faster than your state highways? Yes, it does, because there's limited access. Okay. I'm glad I could help you with these application problems. Just take it step by step, very easy, and you won't go wrong.